flatness with the AT400 Ultimate. Exercise. Measure and adjust the flatness of the foundation base where the pump and motor sits. We are using the AT400M sensor mounted on a magnetic base, a T21 laser transmitter, and the flatness app. Let's begin. Mark the places to be measured and create a gridlock from those spots, literally or figuratively. The feet positions of the pump will be A1, B3 and A5. The feet positions of the motor will be C2, D2, C4, and D4. These seven points are the only points that needs to be measured and adjusted. The remaining points should not be measured and adjusted. Turn on the T21 laser. It doesn't have to be leveled. Place the M sensor close to the T21 laser transmitter on the elevated surface. Adjust the height of the M sensor. Move the M sensor diagonally to the opposite corner on the elevated surface. Adjust the laser and use the micrometer screws to adjust the angle until it hits the mark. Move the M sensor back to make sure that it still hits the mark within the square. Make sure that the laser can hit within the square from all positions which is to be measured. The laser doesn't have to be centered as long as it's positioned within the square at all positions to be measured. Start the application and turn on the M sensor. Type the distances required.
start measuring the chosen points in no particular order. Make sure that the X value is close to zero, which is equivalent to the laser being centered. Record the value by pressing the measurement icon. You can also use the live positioning function to find the center. Record the value. Continue to measure all the remaining points you have pre-chosen. The measuring is now complete. Red equals positive values. Blue equals negative values. Start adjusting. Choose between getting negative or positive values to adjust. Or best fit, which gives you the smallest values to adjust. However, this function will require both negative and positive corrections. In this video, we want to adjust using shims. That's why we will use the negative icon. Using this function, the software will automatically give us three reference points. The remaining points, which are not green, has to be adjusted using shims. The laser is not hitting the sensor when the adjustment icon isn't showing. Make sure that the dot hits the center. Use the positioning icon if you want. Turn the laser and center the dot. Keep it close to zero. The adjustment icon will now show when we go back to adjust C2. Press the adjustment icon. The value to be recorded is shown in Y. The arrow depicts in which direction to adjust. Y equals the thickness of shims needed. Place the appropriate number of shims beneath the magnetic base.
the values are adjusted live. Due to the tolerance being 0.1 mm and the Y value is 0.01 mm, the X value is within tolerance. Adjust the last point, which is D2. Place the appropriate number of shims beneath the magnetic base. You can move the M sensor closer to the X0 to ensure to be at the same position as when measuring. Save the results and create a PDF report. Check the boxes for what you want to add to the PDF report. We have now successfully measured and adjusted the base of the pump and motor to be flat, but not in level. If the foundation base needs to be in level, the T21 laser needs to be leveled, and only one reference point can be used, which means more points to adjust. Start by leveling the T21 laser using the micrometer screws. Correct the height of the M sensor to make sure that the laser will hit within the square from all angles. Do not use the micrometer screws to angle the laser as it is leveled. Record the values, the same procedure as earlier. Choose one reference point. Choose the point with the highest positive value to ensure that every other point can be shimmed to achieve flatness in level. In this case, D4 has the highest positive value. Repeat the process of adjusting using shims, the same as earlier. Once you are done, you have achieved flatness in level.